We are the Western Sydney University Solar Car Project. The World Solar Challenge is actually from Darwin to Adelaide, where we get uh, teams from all over the world competing. This time around, in our class alone, we have 30 teams from approximately 22 different countries. These teams are the best in the world, and we as a team are trying to be part of that. And not only be part of it, but win. There is no money involved as a prize or anything like that. The, the goal is to be the best in the world at what we do. And what we do is make innovation happen. That's what we're trying to do here. Uh, my role in the team is to manage the mechanical team. So all the components on the car, our wheels, wheel hubs, suspension, steering, and the construction of the vehicle are all my responsibility and to make them happen. The main materials we use in the construction of the vehicle are carbon fibre, also Nomex material. The Nomex gives us a light weight, it saves weight in our vehicle and also provides structure. The carbon fibre adds strength and it's a lightweight solution compared to something like a steel or a titanium sort of chassis. So mainly as mechanical lead, my role is to make sure we lose the minimal amount of energy. The electrical team provides the energy while we try to minimise it. The electrical team is multidisciplined and we focus on the solar array, batteries, driver controls and the motor which actually drives the car. These are the fundamental components of the solar car. The solar array is where we get our energy from, uh, the motor is what we use to drive and the batteries give us a little bit of a boost when there isn't as much sunlight around. So my role on the Western Sydney University Solar Car Project is the lead of IT and telemetry. My job is to make sure that the electrical guys in particular can see exactly what their devices are doing. So things like the battery, the motor controllers and the solar cells all will be putting out data as just pure numbers. Pure numbers being pure numbers are very difficult to try and get a handle on, so my job is to make that easier. So doing things like tables and graphs and making sure that it's only the most relevant data compared to where we're at is shown at any given time. I'm one of four drivers for the project. Four drivers per team, and that's usually two, three hours um, each day, uh, each stint. We change over for a controlled stop, uh, switch over to a new driver, and they do their two, three hour stint. What I need to do is control my breathing, focus my mind, and only think about what I'm doing. As far as the solar car, I'll have to just focus on driving the car, not having, not having a heat stroke, um, hydrating my body, while I drive, just completely focusing on, on keeping the car to what I needed to do. My role in the Western Sydney Solar Car Project was Head of Design, so I was responsible for a lot of the 3D modelling and the overall design that went into the car. I was also responsible for making sure that our brand matched the university's brand. As the marketing manager for the Western Sydney University Solar Car Project that is run underneath the School of Computing, Engineering and Mathematics, my role encompasses looking after the sponsorship deals that we have to come across, like larger companies, even all the way to local um, businesses that want to contribute and actually support this project, because it's very crucial that communities and also local businesses all the way to government are aware of what we're doing and how much we're contributing um, to the community as well and also ensuring that the future generations benefit from a project like this. The Solar Car Project is just one of many projects where students and the university collaborate with industry on advancement towards an unlimited future for all. The Western Solar Car Team is a group of highly motivated and talented students who continually strive to be their best, not just for themselves, but also for the honour of representing Western Sydney University. And their car is quite extraordinary.